Open the eyes. I got a surprise. What do we have here? A spectacular closet. This is a custom built closet project that I started myself. It goes with a longer shelf, um, double reinforced brackets. Um, nice design up here on the top for your clothes, as you can see. And it also has this nice little towel that was done. The handles, of course, we put in. And the shelf I am going to show you here in a minute. It took a lot of work. Um, one of my designs was to go ahead and put this up um, higher and put another, um, possibly something to put your clothes on up here. So we're doing custom built closets, right? There's a lot of things going on. They give you those tiny little shelves. And the ones I have are actually, eight, this one is actually 18 inches. The ones that they're selling are 16 inches or to 12 inches. The ones that you normally get are about 10 inches. And they're yellow and they're really ugly. So I went ahead and designed my own closet because I'm just sick of it, right? So I did all of this, I did all the work. Um, and these right here are double reinforced brackets. Going into a um, home improvement store or one of your hardware stores, you might find um, a washer. And these are 60 pound torque screws. The customer actually asked me what project I was doing and I had to walk around to a whole nother aisle just to find these. I reinforced these, as you can see, with the washer and the double and four screws. And I, and I made this whole design. So let me go ahead and show you this a little bit more. All right, so now we're walking into my closet. As you can see up here, this bag up here, it has um, some dishes in there. It is pretty heavy. The towel, the rack here, not a towel rack, clothes rack. The rack here um, I put in, it's tall enough to support your clothes. And it's also big enough down here on the bottom so that you can hang your clothes even more. So if I take one of my shirts, take it down here, and if I just hang it up simply like this, you can see that it does not reach the floor. The bottom trim has been done all the way around, painted on the inside, and I can also put up another rack like this down here and all the way across the bottom. Over here, I have a heavy bag that is um, filled with some camping gear, and these racks that I put in here um, it supports that this bag alone is probably about 20 25 30 maybe even more pounds and it easily supports that now what I had done up here on the top is the racks are actually going outwards more and I torqued them out at a good 45 degree angle double reinforced them with the screws that I showed you 60 pound of torque and also over here on the corners with 60 pound of torque this has three beams supported across at 18 inches. And as you can see, it is pretty sturdy and very wide. This one down here on the bottom, I, you cannot find these. I actually had to go into a store that was closing down and purchased it from them while they were um, shutting down after years. You cannot find it this wide, but look at how wide it is. Uh, I can take a whole bag, heavy bag of laundry, and it sits up there with my camping gear and everything else. So as I move, I can show you my features of what I had done. Um, this is a, another one of these um, beams up here. And if I wanted to, I can also put it down here and make a nice long clothes rack all the way along the bottom. Now up here on the side, my next plan is to design one shelf that goes higher up here and then one over here on the side. This would also give me additional space for another piece of bag or maybe even higher or lower, whatever you prefer. But for now, I leave this option open so I can put some larger things on the top, tuck some things on the bottom, still hang clothes on the bottom and on the top. Move this heavy bag over here. It's pretty heavy, full of laundry. Dishes, laundry, camping gear. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look. So I come on in here. As you can see these brackets right down here are double reinforced all the way around on the side. The ones on the bottom I had torqued up even higher. Instead of coming out this way I had bent them in 
at a lower 30 degree angle and all the way across every <laughs> two feet or 18 inches. I left this space open here because I can, you can also fit a small dresser or something up underneath here eventually. So if you're sick and tired of all of these um, normal uh, closets that you get, as you can see, you get these yellow, nasty little shelves. So many people are sick of the small racks and they go up really high. You can't put anything on the bottom and anything over there. So what I did is I kind of crisscrossed these two ideas. One for clothes, one for storage, storage up here, up here, up clothes down here, fit big things. I can still put big things up in here and so forth. So this is my um, custom closet design. Open your eyes as you can see. So um, when you're doing it, do it yourself projects and everything else. Um, a lot of these things. Um, it takes a little bit of knowledge. Um, we had to use some screws. Again, I told you the torque um, little screws that look like this. They're um, 60 pound capacity. You gotta walk to another shelf. These aren't sold with the equipment. These racks here that I had to buy. Um, this is the widest you can get. And notice mine's another four inches out over that. So I have this huge rack down here on the bottom. Supports all of these things that I want. I have my clothes up here for a nice design. I can also move them up here and whatnot. Room up here, and of course another design to put more over here on the side. So it takes a little bit of knowledge. Um, I worked really hard on our do-it-yourself project. At the end, we put, were able to put in all these little things like the doorknobs here. Um, the paint, the trim across the top, which is a nice pearl white. Um, my inside trim, the flooring, back side of the paint, um, the whole thing. So the whole point is, you know, why are they putting in these little yellow tiny shelves in these brand new built homes? I really don't know, but it's pretty sick. I mean, you get these things like yellow blinds and these um, racks and these shelves that they put in are actually yellowy color normally um, they're really small um, they're not torqued and you can custom re rearrange it you might find some holes and some other things to fill in it might take some technical knowledge or some maintenance know-how or whatnot um, but this is my do-it-yourself project I wanted to show you all my custom closet so now that you're happy and you saw what I do and how you can build yourself your own custom closet I made this YouTube page, so I hope you all can um, appreciate what I've done, my work, and I hope that you learned something today. Thank you.